Michael Ilizan Mizant Lydia has reportedly given a very important update on the Nigerian 90 Day Fiancé cast members visa via his wife Angela Deem's ex-best friend Jojo. Michael and Angela's tumultuous relationship made its way to TLC in 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Season 2. The couple kept waiting and waiting for Michael to get a K-1 visa which he never did and Angela finally married him in Lagos itself in January 2020. Two years later, fans heard nothing about Michael's visa but rumors of his breakup with Angela have run rampant. It's now being said that Michael is coming to the US next month but Angela and Michael will treat it as a business transaction. Aunt Lydia was very much a part of Angela and Michael's split during the 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? Season 6 Tell All When Angela Flashed the Cameras Angela had claimed Michael was choosing Aunt Lydia over her during their argument. Aunt Lydia then mocked Angela for choosing to have weight loss surgery over having a baby with Michael. In 2021, Angela cut ties with her best friend Jojo who had last appeared on 90 Day Fiancé during the Mima's segments about weight loss surgery. The fallout seems to have taken place after Angela because jealous of Jojo's developing friendship with 90 Day Fiancé co-star Debbie Johnson. Michael supported Angela during her Instagram war with Jojo in November 2021. But in January 2022, Michael reactivated his Instagram and even posted photos with fellow Nigerian co-star Asmanu Mare aka Soja Boy. This sparked speculation that Michael and Angela might not be together anymore. However, according to Monsters and Critics, 90 Day Fiancé podcast Kiki and Kibitz reportedly got on a phone call with Jojo who happened to confess she'd received a call from Aunt Lydia about Michael's spousal visa status. Aunt Lydia told Jojo that Michael's visa has been approved and he will be coming to the U.S. next month. Aunt Lydia was worried about the troubles Michael might face in America thanks to his controlling wife Angela and her history of being verbally and emotionally abusive towards him. Aunt Lydia suggested Michael should stay with some relatives they have in Louisiana instead of Angela. As per the conversation between Jojo and Aunt Lydia, Angela told Michael that she will do whatever she wants but Michael better keep up his end of the relationship. It seems that Angela and Michael will pretend to be in a relationship because they want to be on a new 90 Day Fiancé spin-off as a couple. When in reality Michael's arrival in Georgia will be a mere business transaction. Kiki and Kibitz claim they were supposed to do an interview with Michael over Instagram DMs however when they did message him there wasn't any response. It's suspected Angela has already started taking over Michael's life and is the one who's also operating his solo Instagram. Besides, Angela is repeatedly taking digs at Michael and Usman's friendship on social media. She seemingly played a song about monkeys after posting Michael and Usman's photo together during a TikTok live. There have been reports of Angela already filming a new spin-off in New York after a fan had bumped into her in December 2021. And at the same time, rumors suggest she might make her grand 90 day, the single life debut in season 3. Angela has also been flirting with a mystery man uninhibitedly on Instagram, so there's a lot going on between the two of them. But with Michael finally coming to America, will Michael and Angela get back together for real as they have several times before on 90 Day Fiancé to feature in 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? Season 7 instead? Source, Monsters and Critics